guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, it's just I have been really busy and I don't know what to post and stuff because it's like it's hard. YouTube channels are hard and you gotta think of what to do. And yeah, so today I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial of my summer makeup routine that I don't really wear, but when I do go out and to party or something, then I would wear this makeup routine. And I'm just gonna show you, it's like all mainly drugstore and yeah, it's pretty light and easy. So I'm gonna go right into it. And if you have any questions, comment down below. About the California video, I didn't film it right and it's not good and it's going to be really hard to edit if I put it in and it's not going to be the best and I just want to post like the best I can on this channel. So this is the best I can do. So today we're going to do a makeup video. Hope you guys enjoy and please comment down below what you want to see next and what you use for your makeup routines in the summer, your natural makeup routines, and please subscribe, hit that bell icon next to it to be updated when I post, and yeah, we're going to get back into the mojo. So when I do any makeup, like on my face, I always wash my face and then I moisturize. So I already washed my face and so I'm going to moisturize, and I use the Hydro Boost, you know, what I use in my morning routine. So I use my pump and I just put it everywhere. It's a like clear gel. Hyaluronic acid. I usually blend my makeup down my neck so it has to be moisturized too. My skin's not as bad as it usually is so we are gonna just put put a little bit of foundation on and this foundation is true match and my shade is a neutral buff beige but yeah so i'm gonna put a little bit on so how i put it on is i put it a little bit on my palm back of my palm that's a lot and then so i'm not going to use all this so i'm probably going to waste a little bit but it's fine so i take a buffing brush and flat top kabuki i would say and I just dot it everywhere and then I blend it in I'm putting very little this is very little just because my skin's not too bad just want an even complexion I wouldn't rub way too much it's if you want more coverage you stipple it but today I'm just want light coverage because it's summer and it's hot out and you don't want to sweat off your makeup this might be a little off for me because I've been tanning and not wearing a lot of makeup but you know we're gonna make it work as you can see my skin is very oily if you need a little more for your like areas of concern you just put it there and here and then you stipple it Make sure everything's blended in before you go to the next step. But as you can see, I left this area on cover because I'm going to put concealer there and you don't want too much buildup in that area because your skin's very thin and it'll crease really easily. So, yeah. Blend it down. It's not going to match my face. It's fine. Having more makeup in a while been busy and stuff so i'm gonna wipe this off with the makeup wipe so the next step is um i use concealer so this is the fit me concealer in light medium and i use a triangle motion in my eyes i'm running out so i'm just gonna use what i have i'm gonna get a lot more make a lot more makeup videos coming up and yeah if you just see, saw my eye cross, it's because when I was three, I was diagnosed with cross eye and then I got glasses and it was mostly fixed. Only when I do certain things with my eyes, it pops up. But yeah, you want to put it here and then I use it as an eyeshadow base. So I put one line on each eye. And then after that, I put it on my T-zone. Like that. To make it a little snatch. I'm not going to be sister snatch like Team Charles. He is way too good for me. Comment down below if you like James Charles. Put it around the nose for redness. Keep the bow and chin. And then 
then we're gonna blend it out with a with a sponge. Make sure you blend the sponge. I mean, you dampen the sponge and then you dab on your face. I'm gonna do like a glowy makeup tutorial, so um, I'm g I am mean, I'm gonna use powder, but it's just because I'm really oily. If you're not that oily, I would just set the under eyes and where you put the concealer and then use your bronzer and everything else and that would be enough powder for yourself. But if you're like more oily combo, I would put powder over the face and then put your other products on. I'm gonna set it with the Makeup Forever powder. And my big brush I got from Claire's. Trust me guys, Claire, blush, Claire brushes are like really nice. Always gotta blend down the neck. Never rub your powder on cause then that'll take away the coverage you put on before. And then for the eyes, you just close your eyes. This is a light way of putting powder on. If you want more coverage with your powder, you would get a more dense brush or a smaller brush that is more packed with bristles. This is more of a light coverage powder brush. But this, uh, this powder in general is more to a medium coverage. But I would not use it as a foundation because it's not a foundation powder. Powder foundation is to say. And then you put it over things that you have like a little more concern with. So you just take your finger and put it like that on the area. And then you blend it like that. Really lightly tap, tap it just to blend it out. Now I'm going to use F Physicians Formula Bronzer for my face. And this is the darker one because in summer I'm tan. And then in the, in the um, winter time I use this one. It's the lighter one. And this brush set I just got from somewhere, I don't know. I think I got it from TJ Maxx, honestly. And I like it, so. So what I do is make a fish, no, no, fish face. And then I chisel out right here. Not chisel, this is just bronzing, I'm not gonna contour. All the way down to here. So if you're looking at your pupils, like you look straight into the mirror, you see your pupils, and you go down to your cheekbone. Under your cheekbone. You don't wanna go past that or else that's gonna make your face look it's just gonna make your face look darker and bad and not good at all, so you wanna keep it outside. Now for blush, I am going to use the Tarte one. This is just a sample I got. It's in part T. Part T. I'm gonna use this nice small blush brush and just go tap tap. And then. As you can see, it's not that noticeable. Now, if you're, um, blush doesn't blend out really easily, I would go back in with the powder brush, but with nothing on it, and just buff it in. Then use some highlighter, and this is like a really old highlighter I use all the time. It's just really, I like it a lot. And this is, most of this is from the drugstore or, or a sample. And this is actually, what I use as a brush for it is this flat top foundation brush they use for your foundation, but I'm gonna use it for this. So I'm gonna get like the two lighter shades up here. It's on the brush and you put it on the high points on your cheekbones. And then up here and the nose. Nose, you go like that and then skip that and then go like that. And you want a little more glow, you put your cupid's bow chin in the forehead. And then the other side. That looks pretty. And now onto eyes. Legitimately 
5 Below Eyeshadow Palette. It's amazing. I love it. It's The pigmentation is beautiful. As you can see, I hit pan over here. This is one of my favorite colors. I love rose gold from eye makeup. But today I'm going to use um, these two. And then this is my brown bone, and this is my lid, and then this is my crease. And then if I want a little de definition in the crease, I would use this dark mauve brown over here. I'm going to use generic makeup, brush makeup brushes. I'll just show you what they are. So for your crease, you want to use like a fluffy brush if it's just a transition shade or you just want to blend it in to make it like a deeper color in the crease. So I take a tap tap and then you just shake off the excess and then close your eye. So for a tip for how to do your crease better, look straight into the mirror and then put it right there. And then do windshield wipers. And then circle and down, look up. Do it again. And you check how it blended, and if it's not dark enough, do it again. And then we're gonna go on to a flat top brush for packing. I'm gonna use this one. So you wanna brush like this. And then I'm gonna just slide it in to this right here. And then you do your lid. So you never wanna go out, you go more into towards the inner corner. I'm going to move on to the inner corner. For the inner corner, I use a more pointy small brush. So, for instance, this one. These are so pretty. That's why I like that. That's why I love them. I was like, this is so pretty. And so I'm going to get this light color right here. Just swirl it in there. And then do my inner corner. So now, as we can see, it's there. Then you gotta do brown brown. Then you go back in with your crease brush and you just blend it all out. And then we go in with this. So this is my mascara. It's the Voluminous Last Paradise. I think it's by L'Oreal. So a tip to not get the mascara onto your eyelids is, so when you're doing your top lids, you put your head up, and then you brush up, and when you're doing bottom lid, your bottom eyelashes, and not lids, you go down, and you... My main thing with my makeup is my lashes. I love to over, overdo the mascara. I love. So uh, I'm going to show you a tip of how to clean up your mascara as well. Now for this look, since my eyelashes, my makeup in general is not that um, dramatic, I'm not going to put three mascaras on as I usually do. I'm going to put one. This is a brown mascara, just to tell you. It's like a black brown. So more matches like my actual eyelash color and hair color. Guys, I haven't done makeup in like months and I love this. Now, as you can see, I don't fill my eyebrows. I'm just going to brush them through to get off the the residue of the makeup that's on it. So what I do is I get one of these brushes, make sure it's clean, and I brush it up. I do this while I'm waiting for the mascara to dry so I can wipe it off. <laughs> the extra that is on my skin to wipe it off. This is sort of how I shape them. And now I'm going to move on to lips and then clean up the mascara that is literally disgusting. It's so intense. Look at that. I'm going to use a Tarte lipstick. It's a matte lipstick. Now I'm done with the face and everything, so I'm going to clean up the mascara with Q-tips. So I just use generic, you know, Q-tips. And then what you want to do is just... Push a little pressure and then take it off. And then what I usually do is I wipe the bottom of my lashes because it tends to get in the skin. If you guys want to leave a little product, like if you guys want to leave your under eyeshadow there and you're doing a more dramatic look, then don't do this. To finish off, I'm going to use my NYX Mattifying Finish Spray. Hey guys, 
guys the finished look we have the highlighter the blush the every single product i used and yeah this is the eyes Thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned for a new video coming up soon. Bye!